Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so today I'll be doing kind of a large Hastings haul, as you can see. Um, so if you don't know, Hastings is actually going out of business. Ours actually closed early. They originally said they weren't going to close till the end of October. Um, but ours closed like on the 20th, I think. Um, they actually didn't even like send out anything saying they were closing early. They were just like, we're closing early. So everything I got was 90% off. So that's why I kind of went a little overboard because it's like... 90% off, you pay less than a dollar for most of the items, so let's uh, get into this. Um, so first up, I got this um, Van Gogh. Um, it's just like a kind of a cardboard painting. Originally it was $8.99, so I paid like 90 cents for it. So I'm going to hang this in either my room or my bathroom. So, uh, I like Van Gogh painting, so... And this is in no particular order because they're all mixed up in different bags. I'm just going through all the bags. So first we have this silicone gauntlet, gauntlet mold. Um, this can either be used for ice cubes or jellos or something. Um, so uh, I actually got this from my brother because he's making soaps and stuff. So I thought he might use that. Um, and it was only like $1.50. So... Alright, next we have a little clutch bag that is uh, Star Wars themed, so it's a little wristlet that's R2-D2, basically, and then it's also this clear, I would almost call it a, like a separate clutch that it came in, so I'd almost say it's two pieces that you could use, which would be, I mean, I think it's kind of cool to have like a clear, like kind of clutch thing. Okay, so we have... A neck um, lanyard. This is uh, says Tiny Wimey. It's a Doctor Who theme with a little TARDIS on it. You can see it's a little rubber TARDIS. It's got the ID badge on it. So got one of those. Um, I'm gonna do another unboxing. So here's one of the Looney Tunes. Here's another one. So I have two of those. Um, I got some of the Edward Scissorhands. I'm not finished collection. I got two of those. I found one of these um, milk moo latte um, figures. Um, fortunately, it is taped on the top, so I'm not sure if this is going to be opened inside or not. I tried to avoid those, but um, this is the only one they had, and I actually found this underneath a shelf. So um, we'll see what happens with that one in the unboxing. So if you want to see that, um, stay tuned to the unboxing. Uh, then we have... One of these uh, rubber wristbands. This one is red and it's got um, Daleks and the TARDIS and Cybermen on it. So. And then we have a Dalek keychain. I think this, this one makes noise of some sort. I'm not going to push it because I do not want it to make noise for 20 minutes. So that's that. Um, we have another wristband. This one just has Daleks on it. And like the ultimate Darlick. It's some gray. Uh, and another one, this one says uh, Britain Invasion on it. And it's in a kind of teal blue. It's got Darlick on it. And let's see, these were like 80 cents each. So. Alright, next bag. So here is a collectible figure. This is number 21 Cyberman. Um, 121st scale. I got this for my brother. I got one. I wasn't sure if it was this one or not for his birthday a couple years ago because he likes like the Cybermen. Um, and it wasn't, so he's going to get this one. Uh, next we have a little, like kind of like a Lego Minion figure. This is of the, from the Minions movie. Um, it's just in the like Arctic scene. I haven't put it together yet. Um, some more boxes. I found... Um, another one of the Science Fiction Series 2. Here's another Looney Tunes one. Um, and here's another Minions Lego. Um, this is with the TV. I'm trying to pick up the signal, so that's cute. Uh, and then we have from um, Game of Thrones. This is, or not, it's Game of Thrones, sorry. Um, actually, no, it is. It's Game of Thrones, but it's a Mockingbird pin. Which makes me think of. Hunger Games, because of Mockingjays, but no, this is uh, Game of Thrones, so, back to down. 
Here's bag three. Uh, got some movies. Um, Water Diviner 2012. Uh, some socks, because they were. How much were these? These were like $1.80 for two pairs, so it's like you can't go wrong there. Um, I got this little figure from. I can't. I remember the pieces, I think. Um. I remember the show, but I can't remember. I don't know if it's going to be this character or not, because they show some others on the side. Um, so we'll have to see. This will be in the figure unboxing. Um, another Looney Tunes. So I've got four Looney Tunes so far. Um, I have a Raya Star Wars bookmark. Uh, another rubber wristband. This one has the TARDIS explosion painting from the Mango episode. Oh, which I actually have the full the poster for that episode also. Um, here's a red tiny wimey um, wristband to kind of match the lanyard. Uh, and there's a few of these little like Lego put together. So I have two of the Doctor Who uh, doctors, and then two of the minions. Um, these will be in the figure unboxing. And this is the last bag. Let's see. I got some games. This was Wii. Uh, I haven't. Most of these Wii games I hadn't heard of, but it's like this one was like a dollar and fifty cents. So I'm like, it's a dollar and fifty cents. Even if I hate it, it's cheaper than renting it to try it out. So I actually got two of these car chargers for um, just USB chargers. Normally they're 10 bucks, so I got them for like a dollar. So I got two of those. One for me and one for my brother. And then another movie, X-Men um, Wolverine Origins, because I haven't seen it. I know, I don't watch much many movies. And then a bunch of games they didn't have the um, cases to. So Just Dance 2016, and this is for the Wii, I believe. Should be for the Wii. It says it's for the Wii, but it doesn't say it on the disc, so I'm worried about that one. Um... Uh, Chotic Shadow Warriors, um, let's see your Green Lantern, what is this, uh, Arcade Hit Pack, uh, Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warriors, um, and I got a couple others from my brother, which he already took out and started playing with, but uh, I think I spent like 50 bucks on everything, and I think the receipt said I saved like $450 or something because everything was 90% off. Um, but that's it. If you have a Hastings that hasn't closed yet, um, they, last I heard, some of them are still staying open until the 31st, which is Monday, so, you know, definitely try to head out there and see if you can get anything. If you like any, like, probably most of the stuff's gonna be gone, but you never know, um, definitely check it out. This is not a promo for Hastings because they're going out, but just saying, if you're looking for some really good deals, definitely go to the out-of-business sale. So, thanks for watching, uh, bye guys.